watching Jamaican News on YouTube, your number one place for local and international news about Jamaica. Now, remember to like the video, remember to share, comment, and subscribe to the channel for support and growth. With all of that said and all of that done, I'm going to jump into the intro, then I'm going to come back with one of my videos in. Welcome back my viewers and my subscribers. Now before we jump into the information on behalf of you know, I'm going to give you know, some follow-up information on the 14-year-old youngster that was shot and killed in a tenement yard in Kingston and the people them take to the road on a protest. Zim, even the grandmother was exalting herself to the lowest, lowest level. Anyway, my viewers and my subs, I want to take a look on the screen. I've come across this photo or this photograph of the alleged teenager. So what I see on the screen right now is said to be the photograph of the teenager, the 14 year old who was killed. You understand me? We can't make out in face clearly, but based upon the you know the size and body, the side view and face and thing, my viewers and myself, you can almost say this really looks like a the teenager. Zin, so right there you see him posing with a gun. You get what I say? Yeah. So this is the teenager that the people them come out and I say yo he's not a boy known to have any gun you see he's a well mannered youngster anyway my viewers and my subs I also have a video where I'm going to play with the said teenager in the video making some comment I want to leave on thoughts and leave Uno opinion in the comment section on this. You understand me? Now, my viewers and my subs, here's the video. But you know what? Before we jump into the video, listen this. In a post that I've seen also when I was looking on this photograph, it seems like somebody who is a close friend of the teenager that was killed was making a comment saying, All who attack can't talk now because he's now dead now based on that my viewers and subscribers that says a lot you understand me anyway here's the video i'm pretty shanty in your man i'm your right here i'm going for my rifle for them father. no i leave it as anybody i'm pretending me i go for your rifle i swear for my life where's your father i swear for my life Meantime, police are probing a double murder after two men were shot dead on Tucker Main Road in St. James Friday night. The dead men have been identified as 32-year-old Jerome Evans, otherwise called Ricky, and 37-year-old Jerome Langman, otherwise called Q37. Both men were from retirement in the parish. Reports reaching us are that around 10.15 p.m., Resident heard a barrage of explosion, saw Evans' body and alerted the police. Lawmen then rushed to the scene and saw Evans in the middle of the roadway beside a motorbike suffering from what appeared to be gunshot wounds. A search of the scene was conducted. During the search, Langman's body was discovered lying in bushes about 26 feet from that of Evans, the police said. Meanwhile, in St. Anne's, my viewers and my subscribers, the decomposing body of a female was found in Key Valley, St. Anne's on Friday. The deceased has not yet been identified. Reports from the police are that around 3.30 p.m., the body was discovered lying face down in a house. The police were summoned and the remains were removed to the morgue for a post-mortem. My viewers and my subscribers, this was a quick one. Someone to remember to like out the video. Remember to share, comment, and subscribe to the channel for support and growth. As soon as we get some update on any information, we make on know what I want. Zin, I'm out. <laughs>